is just ridiculous. This is my breakdown of what lunch cost. It was amazing. Okay, so her smoked eggs Benny was $24 for two eggs and Benedict sauce. Breakfast in Australia is the most expensive meal. This cocktail place was- She spent $51 on drinks. I don't know if you know, but that's that's disgusting, right? What? There is no way she's earning minimum wage and saving money. And you get yourself a huge thing of instant coffee. Oh, look at this. This this is gonna cost like $19 or $22. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name's James Hayes. This is a genre that I absolutely love. I've not seen this video. I'm really excited to watch it. It is uh, what I spend in a week living in Australia is a video by Molly Thompson, who's got 141,000 subscribers. So let's get straight into the video. But before we do that, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more. One last thought could be useful as a British person living in Australia. I thought this would be interesting from an outsider's perspective and also for people that are potentially looking to move to Australia or people that are just nosy like me, to be honest. So this is... I am nosy i love this she's talking to me folks she's talking to me this is a, what i spend in a week living in melbourne oh I'm she's living in melbourne day. just for clarity uh ma google maps i'll show you roughly where i live okay uh okay all right cool kids um this is where I live. I live in Adelaide, South Australia. I grew up in Western Australia, but this video is in Melbourne. Let's have a quick look at Melbourne for you guys, so you can kind of get a general gist of how beautiful the city is. Now, Melbourne is a place that us Adelaideans like to go quite often. It's only a half an hour uh, to hour flight from here. It's absolutely amazing. It's known for its coffee. It's really, really easy to spend a lot of money while you're over here. But it is a very beautiful city anyways. Let's get straight back into the video. Sunday, a working week. So there's nothing particularly special about this week. There's nothing like crazy going on. It's just Monday to Friday at work. And then all of the like social activities I would do and a weekend with my friends, which seems to be the routine that we've kind of like fallen into here in Melbourne. So without waffling on, I'm just gonna get straight into it. We're gonna flash back to Monday when this video begins. Let's go. This video is going to be quite hard, guys, because a lot of you are going to be watching the UK and everything is going to be in dollars. I'm going to put the conversion rate on, but just for the sake of before I do that, basically, everything is about half, give or take, a little bit more. I think I might get some watermelon, but this is so expensive. I might buy an actual... Why would you buy a watermelon already cut up? No wonder why it's expensive. Watermelon. Guys, we've got a list. Oh, she's got a list. That's great. That's incredible. One of the best ways to not overspend is to bring a shopping list. We are ready to go. We are in calls. We are about to hit all the different aisles. I've even written what we're going to have for tea each evening this week. I love that Tuesday just says Eve. We're not having Eve for tea, obviously. <laughs> but that means I think we're going to be eating out tomorrow. So let's go. If you were wondering the price of broccoli, which you probably were not, we're going to get some of this. Tom won't eat this. This is just for me. It's $1.90 for the big watermelon. Or there you go. Or... $5 something for the cut up watermelon. I actually sort of want that for my breakfast tomorrow, but that's really big. Do they do like half sizes? Mini Toms. Are my do they have half sizes? Honey, that is a quarter size. Thing, guys, you just whack this whole thing in a thing of pasta. It's amazing. I don't know if we get them this small in England, but so good. Perfect for stir frying run out of chai it's time to buy something oh look at that that's incredible you can go to a cafe here in australia and spend seven dollars on chai and you know what they use they use this brand here baby they use that brand uh two or three scoops frothed milk they charge you seven dollars for it or you could buy this whole thing for seven dollars so that's smart at least she's not doing that. Oh, sugar-free. Yes, please. Oh, guys, sugar we actually free. haven't had a working fridge until now, so we've not been able to buy a full big milk. This oh, is the cheapest one, I think, Tom. The Coles on brand. And that is $4.50, which is probably around about the £3 mark. So for a UK comparison, I'm not too sure. Back in the day, a litre of milk here in uh, in Australia, it was a dollar a litre. But now it's like $4.50 for three litres, so... A little over a dollar a litre. Things are getting tough. Things are getting tough. I'm milk right now, but there you go. Obviously here though, it is done in litres, whereas at home, I think this measurement would be in pints. And I think the biggest that you get at home is maybe, is it six pints of milk? 
the big one at home? Yes, guys. Although we actually don't need big family size. Do they do a non-family size version? No, you always get a big one. It, sa it saves you the money uh, portioned out. Let's just have a look when this was filmed. This was filmed five months ago, so these prices are quite relevant. $10, quite a lot. Here we go, guys. Here's the slightly smaller sizes of the old El Paso boxes. I know, the enchiladas are still bloody massive. Great. Guys, we have pretty much completed the list. In fact, we've completed the entire list. I think we've got everything. So now we need to go to pay. It's going to be the moment of truth. It's quite expensive in here. Like, I mean, all the supermarkets are probably the same price, but I mean... No, it's not. If you go to Aldi, almost everything's a dollar cheaper. Uh, in, in Australia, there's a couple of big supermarket brands. Uh, one is Coles, one is Woolworths. A lot of people go to Coles and Woolworths and they see the prices and they think it's good because everything's on special. But you go to Aldi, everything's so much cheaper. We spend $150 a week uh, on our groceries, breakfast, lunch, dinner, uh, toilet paper, uh, all the toiletries, right? Um, dishwashing liquid, laundry liquid, that's all encompassing. We both pay $75 a week. However, the problem is if we go to Coles or Woolworths, it's like 180 bucks and you don't even get the, the same amount. It's not the cheapest of the cheapest, it's just the nearest and the easiest. So uh, she explains it in the video. Real meat from the meat section. It wasn't on the list. This is the thing when you come food drop in, it's so easy to add like things into the trolley that are not on the list and that's when the price goes up. Here we go guys, we've got the goods back in the flat and I'm going to show you the receipt so you can see what we spent. So oh, she's got, um, we've got she's got some Nutri-Grain here. Nutri-Grain is like $9 a box for that. Goods back in the flat and I'm going to show you the receipt so you can see what we spent. Such frizzy hair right now, I did a workout at the gym and haven't showered yet and all my baby has are baby herring. But guys, I've got the goods. This is probably going to be like our main expenditure of the week in terms of like one transaction this was a big shop like this is a weekly how shop. much was I mean, it one of these like we managed to eat out our shop from the first week just because last week we did eat out quite a lot so the total was 138 dollars that's not too bad that's not bad at all really uh, for the amount of stuff that she got, but I feel like she could have been economical, more economical about it. I paid it. that on Monzo and it was exactly £80 plus a couple of pence. I'll pop the transaction on screen. So when you consider that's between two of us, that would be £40 per person. Okay, so there's two of them. They're doing all right so far. That's for great. about eight days worth of food, I would say, but then also we did buy some bits and bobs that are not really like essential essentials that we wouldn't usually buy. For example, I needed shower gel, which I obviously don't buy every week. And I needed hair bubbles, which were $5, which I wouldn't usually pay, but I just need them because I snapped my last bubble this morning. And now I've got a scrunchie in, but it doesn't hold my hair very well. It's quite interesting. Doesn't seem like she knows what the word need is. She wants it, but, uh, you know, it's just, I'm not going to split hairs. That can't be seen by an electron microscope. Let's go. Some, like, sausage meat to make sausage rolls with. He wants to do, like, some, is it baking? So those little bits add add it up and we wouldn't usually get them every single week the most expensive thing that we bought it was my corn actually corn sausages and corn meatballs both seven dollars that was the single right. most expensive item so yeah that kind of gives you a rough idea so that's the cost of the food shop i'd say it's pretty average 40 pounds for a week's groceries plus a load of random extras not the worst it is day two of the challenge, as I mentioned, and as you mentioned... It's actually quite interesting. My girlfriend says this as well, is when you're paying for half of everything in a partnership, everything's half off, right? Because you and your partner are paying for it, yeah? Weekly vlog. Eve is visiting today, so it's going to be like the most eating out and drinks. Although I think actually all of the activities that we're going to do... So Eve's like probably going to be free, so it's actually fairly affordable to come to Melbourne and not spend a lot unless you're eating and drinking. But the city centre itself, even the transport is free. Like the trams in Melbourne city centre don't cost anything, which I think is amazing. And like England would never. So that's <laughs> awesome. And then obviously when you're sightseeing, a lot of it is like outside. So you're not paying really. Even the museums. I mean, I don't think we're going to do any museums today but most of them or a lot of them are free as well so i think it'll just be like dinner and drinks but for me when a friend is in the city that is so worth it to be honest even if they're not that is so worth it but it'll be interesting to see what today's total spend is meal bang pop 32 dollars so what's that a f in 
Guys, I have just got in. It is the end of Tuesday, and I think I can safely say I'm probably not gonna spend any more today because the rest of my evening looks like a shower, a hair wash, and a Netflix. Nice. So I'm gonna run you through what I've spent. So I actually don't think it was as much as it could have been because we didn't end up going out for drinks after dinner. I spent $15 at the uh, bar that we went to i don't think i actually filmed in so she spent 15 dollars on a bar that's roughly what one drink costs um depending if you're getting a cocktail here in australia sometimes cocktails range from like 15 to 25 dollars which is a lot of money when minimum wage here in australia is 24 dollars for full-time and 31 dollars uh for casual we went to a bar basically on the river and then I spent $14 at the terrace on a little flapjack and a brownie for Tom and I. The terrace is... Okay, so uh, flapjacks, I don't know what a flapjack is, but it certainly is not um, Australian lingo. Yeah, we do not have these flapjack. Yeah. Oh, pancakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Flapjacks <laughs> are pancakes. We don't we don't call them flapjacks. Unless I'm wrong. What is flapjacks? A really gorgeous little cafe in the botanical gardens. $14 there. And then $64 at Bang Pop, which was the Thai restaurant we went to for dinner, right. and then $2 at 7-Eleven. Yeah, I'm interested to know what she spent $2 at 7-Eleven for. That could have been avoided. Dinner, as long as she's not doing that often, yeah, but these drinks, they're just completely unnecessary. So, added up, that is 96. Why did that just take so long? But that is a lot of money just for one day, right? And I was for me and Tom, so actually if I take 32 off of that. So my total spend for Tuesday, which includes dinner out, a drink in a bar, but admittedly it was a soft drink. Oh, uh, it was a soft drink? How'd you spend $50 on a soft drink? Did she get two soft drinks? She says a soft drink. No way in the world. Maybe she got herself and a boyfriend a soft drink, but then that's still $7.50 each. And also a little snack was £36.94. Can you see that? That is the conversion. All things considered, I don't actually think that's too, too bad. That puts my weekly... Yeah, you probably don't think that's too bad, but uh, you could be avoiding a lot of this. ...total at this by the end of Tuesday, and I will pick you guys up tomorrow. Hello guys, spending update. Yesterday I didn't film anything, it was Wednesday. But the only thing I spent money on yesterday was the yoga class that I went to. This cost me $25. $25 for a yoga class, it's probably what, an hour session? What does she, what, what does she say it? One hour class. Yeah, one hour, so that's not too bad. That's not too bad really. £13, quite a lot, but it's also, you know, you're paying city centre prices and I don't have like a membership but i personally think it was really worth it obviously it's like a luxury i don't need to be doing yoga and now it's thursday and i've not spent anything today i actually was gonna buy a starbucks on the way home from work because i really fancied like one of their ice lemonade kind of drinks where i work don't really do anything like that oh so she works in a cafe so she's working minimum wage in a cafe whether or not it's her full-time we don't know we don't know but if it is a full-time job, she's probably clearing about $750 a week. So her spending seems to be a little too expensive, considering she seems to be living in the city, where city rents can be as high as five to $600. If she split that by herself, she's spending too much money. She's probably not saving or investing any of her money. However, due to um, her YouTube channel, being 141 subscri 41,000 subscribers, she's probably earning a bit of money from YouTube, but you just don't know. I was leaving work, the cafe provided me with like lunch and a drink, and I was like, well, I don't need to spend money because I've just got it for free from oh, my shift. Good. That's so good. that was a win. I actually think I filmed this on a particularly cheap week because I've not done loads, although I am going to include all of the weekend, obviously. So yeah. I wonder if she overspends on the weekend. What do you think? Updated with what I spent today, but I actually think today's spending could be zero. 
So guys, I am about to head to St Kilda and I'm going to be taking my Mikey card because St Kilda is not in the free tram zone. So basically how these work, and I think it's a little bit behind the times to be honest, but you basically top this up similar to how you would an Oyster card for the London Underground. You can either do that on the app or at the tram stops and then you like tap on and tap off. Yeah, but how is that behind the times? Please explain to me what would be more better. Yeah, more better. So that's, that's English for you. I really think that soon they're probably going to be changing this to just contactless payments because this is a bit of a faff. Like, you can't tap on with your phone. You have to have a card. Ah, uh, there you go. That makes sense. And if you're only visiting Melbourne for, like, a weekend, which is a little bit annoying, but got money on it. And I think yeah, and getting one of these cards is, like, $15 to get the card. That's about $4 return. So let's go. Well, $4.60. Melbourne's beautiful. beautiful. St Kilda Beach is great. Friday evening. This is potentially where I could spend the most money this week because we're going out for drinks. And it's not cheap to drink in Australia, I mean. It's not cheap to drink anywhere. It just... Let me just show you something, right? Going to a pub in Australia is about two... Uh, it's about $12.50 for a Heineken beer. Yet, if you were to go to the local Dan Murphy's, which is a beer place, <laughs> where you can get beer, you can get a six pack for $22. So for the price of two drinks out, you can get a six pack. Or you can get a case of 24, where you're paying 50 bucks. Seriously, um, that's what, $2 a bottle, right? That's, it's not bad at all, it's all about, uh, and then you get to drink at home, right? You don't have to worry about getting home, um, you know, having weird Uber drivers or anything like that. I, think that. I was gonna say, I think people probably think it is. I don't know, I don't know what people think is cheap and isn't cheap in Australia, but alcohol is something that shocks me because I definitely think that it's more expensive than it is in the UK. And it's more expensive than it was the last time I was here. We're gonna go out for a few. I can't lie, I don't think it puts people off drinking it, but it definitely isn't like affordable. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a couple of things here in Australia that I think if you're complaining about inflation and you're doing these things, you've got no right to complain if you're smoking or you're drinking regularly on and uh, going out to a pub uh it's just it's too expensive some things some things are wine wine is really cheap here because obviously they like i was gonna say grow it all themselves but they distill it all themselves so they don't have to import that but everything else i think because it's all imported it's so expensive well it's not just that there's also ridiculous taxes um it's like 60 to 80 percent on spirits right uh, that goes straight to the government. It's crazy. Or maybe I'm going to have a few wine. Maybe I'm going to have a cocktail. I don't know. I don't think it's dated. Oh, she's on a date night. On oh, churros. I've had three drinks. I don't know why I'm telling you this in here. It's really loud and I'm playing a lot of music. My first drink was $19. My second drink was $17. And my third drink was $15. Oh, my gosh. So at least it's getting cheaper. But bugger me. Three drinks, just up in smoke. Progressively cheaper. It's really cool in here though, like I really, really like the vibe. It's quiet though for a Friday night, like the atmosphere is not really the one, but the vibe is nice. So last night's drinks total is on screen. This cocktail place was- She spent $51 on drinks. I don't know if you know, but that's, that's disgusting, right? What do you think? It's really expensive or cheap. It's kind of just middle of the range. $20 for a cocktail is probably like 11 pounds. I feel like that's kind of what you pay for a cocktail. It is expensive if you actually look at what you're paying for, but like in the scheme of cocktails, not the worst. This was my Friday total. We're now gonna move on to Saturday. And today's plan is a beach day and crazy golf. I'm not too sure really what- There is no way she's earning minimum wage and saving my, I just cost. We have to get the train to this beach because it's like. Is she going to explain how much rent is or anything like that, or is this just wasting money? The city we're going to, like Sandringham, so we have to get the metro. So that's going to be a different cost that we've not done yet, and then also Crazy Golf obviously won't be free. So I will update you. So Gloria Jean's here in uh, in in Australia. 
is kind of like a knockoff Starbucks. In fact, I went there today with my girlfriend. It's just, it's very expensive. They do these frappes. They're like $8 for a large and you're always going to get a large because pff, the other ones are just minuscule. <laughs> before we go to the beach and we could not resist Gloria Jean's coffee and toasty so I spent $12.50 I've just spent here. Oh, a coffee and a toasty. You can make the coffee at home for like two cents in Australia. In fact if you get a big thing of instant coffee actually i'll show you wait up you go to audi and you get yourself a huge thing of instant coffee this was three dollars eighty it was less than one cup of coffee right and you can make i'm not sure if it says how many coffees you can make but this would make you at least a hundred coffees without a doubt right and getting a toasty is just ridiculous. You're probably, let's just say you spend $6 on a toasty. You can make toasties, ham and cheese toasties at home for less than a dollar. They saw her coming. So add that to the total. So we've got the Saturday roundup. I really didn't film very much. I basically try to keep my weekends without my camera usually. I really like to try and have a balance of like, I'm not filming every single day. That's right. And you've really got to focus on what you're doing. Uh, finding that balance is very important. Anybody that does daily vlogs probably knows how draining that can get, but mm. also slipped back into that mode by accident. I just didn't really film very much. So that's okay, because this video is quite long. Instead, I'm just gonna go through my actual spending. I topped up my Mikey card. I've already explained how this works, but basically you can't ride the trams without a Mikey card. That was $20. That's okay, However, because you've got to get around. There's no comment whatsoever here. The journeys that I did cost $4.60 each way. So that's $9.20 in total to get yeah. to Sandringham. And I spent $15 on Crazy Golf. So I really filmed nothing here, but me, Tom, Tom's friend Joe and Josh, who we met in the Whitsundays, who I've mentioned a lot. I think he's been in the vlog. I went to do Crazy Golf yesterday afternoon. That was $15. And then we ate out and had dinner. That cost $38, so I had this coconut curry. It was amazing, actually. It, was so <laughs> it does look incredible. Oh, she had wine as well. I also had a glass of wine, and I also ordered Josh a drink. So that was $38 added to the total. And that was my total So she spent a total of $74 just going out on Saturday. Just going out, right? And for... It's these... Now... Nothing she's done so far is too crazy and too out of the ordinary and nothing really to write home about. But people will spend like this on minimum wage, living in a very expensive apartment, and they'll bitch about inflation. When most of this, let's just use her as an example, you don't need to do yoga, you don't need to do that snack, you don't have to go out for those drinks, uh, you don't have to eat your, have coffee and uh, you don't need to, crazy golf could be fun, but you don't need to go out for dinner. There, so many of these things can be avoided if okay. you're on a budget. Uh, we're going to get into the final day of this. I was going to say challenge, it's literally not a challenge. It's kind of like a week in my life, but we're going to get into Sunday, see what we spend. I definitely think the weekends is obviously where we're doing the most socialising or where like, I'm going out the most. So that makes sense as to why I'm spending more like today and probably tomorrow as well. It doesn't have to be like that and it doesn't happen like that every weekend, but... It is Sunday now, and in true this video fashion, I told you I was going to film every day, so I'm back, even though I didn't actually technically film anything yesterday. We are in Fitzroy today. I'm with Tom. He is here. Ah, uh, so Tom's the boyfriend. That's good. There's a little bit of context there. I don't like it when vloggers talk about their partner or anyone and just say, oh, this this is Joe Bloggs. Oh, you know Joe Bloggs because you've been watching my content for a million years. Oh, look at this. This this is going to cost like $19 or $22. Um, just something you can make at home. You don't need to go out for it. This is the most ridiculous breakfast. Yeah, this, this here is it's just all stunt food. You're, you're not going to be filled up whatsoever. By Ever that. seen. There's a potential this could be more ridiculous than the last one. I think they have a habit. <laughs> they have a habit of finding 
candy breakfast that look like they've got hair on them. But guys, it's candy floss. Honestly, I promise you. But it looks so With good. An ice cream cone and ice cream. It's just amazing. I'm almost more excited by like, the biscoff latte. Like, I'm blown away by this. This could potentially be too much biscoff. No, there's no such thing. I don't think that's a, a real thing. Markets. They're expensive, but they're fun. Uh, I grew up in Western Australia, and one of my dreams is to go back to the Fremantle markets with whatever money I want and just spend whatever the fuck I want. That's something I really want to do. If you want to know more about things that I would like to do that I haven't done, check out this video up here or there. It's it, You'll see. Uh, it talks about what I would like to do. Ignore the messy unmade bed at the side of me. We have reached Sunday evening guys, which means that it is the end of the week. I've made a note on my phone of everything that I spent today and then just the total. You saw that we went for lunch. This is my breakdown of what lunch cost. It was amazing. Okay, so her smoked eggs Benny was $24. Um, for two eggs and Benedict sauce? Yeah, nah, that's... Nah. You, breakfast in Australia is the most expensive meal if you're eating out, right? Amazing. Definitely not the cheapest, but oh my gosh, the food here was so, so good. I say this a lot, but something for me that I really like about travelling is trying the food. Like, this is a big thing, obviously, like, Australian food isn't any different to English food, but just eating out generally and, like, finding nice brunch spots, nice cafes, nice restaurants. Yeah, I get the experience of doing that, but you could get eggs benny back at home it's it's the funny thing so i see a lot of broke people i don't know if she's broke right but i see a lot of my broke friends going out traveling and all they do is they sip lattes poolside you can do that at home they go out and watch the sunset at the beach you can do that at home right as long as there's a beach at home they go out to eat eggs benny you can do that at home too. Or they go to nice Japanese restaurants. There's plenty of incredible Japanese restaurants here in Australia. Don't have to go overseas for that. Nice bars. Like, that is something I actually enjoy doing. And I also think it's a good way to get to know the place. So I do feel as though I probably spend quite a lot of money on eating out and drinking out. But that is a choice and it is also a luxury and a privilege. Of Wonderful. At least she, she ex understands that. A lot of Australians, I know she's not. Australian. She's welcome here. Absolutely want more Australians here. Um, stimulating the economy. That's great. At least she understands her life is privileged. A lot of people live like this and then bitch that the government's not helping them out. I'm aware of that. I feel like I'm justifying myself. So that was $30. I then went to the gorgeous markets that you just saw in the last few clips and I did buy a few bits. Some of them I can't show you because they're actually for Valentine's Day. Nice. I actually spent $23 here. One of the purchases was for myself though. It's this really cute little sketchbook, which I just love. It's so like homemade. It's literally drawn by hand. I then also bought these super cute little stickers for my laptop. I literally only bought these because we got chatting to the girl that worked on the stall and she was so lovely. I was like, right, I'm going to buy from your sticker collection. So I spent $23 at the market and then the tram on top of that cost $9.20. It's basically $4.60 to use the trams wherever you go, to use the trains wherever you go in Melbourne. Just tapping on it's $4.60 and you can ride the entire network. Okay, yeah. A lot of this stuff is completely unnecessary. Very happy to watch this video. She seems like a lovely lady her and her boyfriend seem like they're they've got a great thing going it's incredible but almost all of this could be avoided uh it's not the worst we've seen uh if you want to see someone who's really terrible with their money check out this video here on screen now thank you very much for watching